Hey guys, so today we got episode two on how to master the legend with Bloodhound. Again, the whole goal here is to teach you guys how to play this legend effectively and give you guys those insights and give you guys some pretty cool gameplay. I mean gameplay, some intense stuff. So watch this video. If you guys are a new viewer, consider subscribing. I make video guides based on Apex. If you guys are a return subscriber, thank you guys so much for supporting the channel and please hit the like button. And I mean, hit the like button so more people can watch this video and support the cause. So let's watch let hound and let's learn some more stuff. All right, guys, so I'm about to show you guys episode two on how to master the legend with Bloodhound. Again, the purpose of this video is to help you guys get some insights in terms of how to play this character effectively and kind of give you my insights as to how I use them to win situations, to generate a lot of kills. How do I help my teammates? and just keep improving your gameplay. So if you guys are a Bloodhound main, continue to watch this video. If you guys are a new user, just watch this video. He's a very helpful legend, especially in a team mode um, situation, because there's some characters in Apex that are very solo driven, but Bloodhound is actually a team oriented player. So I'm gonna go cut this video into pieces. Like I always do, just fast forward and just get to the uh, point and kind of talk about it. So, um, you know, one of the things that I like about Bloodhound that I would just say is that his new buff which has been out for a while is that he's able to scan at a larger distance um for the people that don't know this is back in the season one two three i think four his scan was only a certain distance but now it covers a larger radius which helps because you can cover more buildings near you you know areas that weren't able before which gives you and your teammates that advantage to um, make the attack or plan the next move so just keep that in mind uh, when using Bloodhound, his scans are very OP. Uh, I even heard uh, a comment, which I know someone responded to that about, imagine if his new buff was able to scan the whole map. Uh, that won't happen. I don't see that happening. That would be too OP and kind of dumb, but it was kind of funny to see in the comment section that someone thought, hey, that would be a pretty cool buff. I would just think that would be overkill. But let me fast forward this and uh, get to the chase. So I think I'm rocking in this game. Uh, I think the R99 and the Hemlock, um, but you guys will see what I do, uh, in terms of my gameplay. So right now we are, okay, cool. I'm just gonna leave it here. So here we do encounter a team in the underground tunnel. Uh, if you guys look at my map, there is a squad right here where my dot is at. So this squad is actually pretty good in terms of our first encounter, just because you can just tell, you can tell if someone's, you know, mid level, high level or low level, this team was high level for sure. Uh, they were holding their position. They weren't pushing through. They were hiding behind that, you know, vehicle. My teammate got knocked. They're going to start rushing, especially when they know they get someone knocked. They start rushing, moving forward. So just keep that in mind, guys. When you guys are playing against other teams, to, to rush as well. If you guys know that a enemy squad got knocked, that's your time to actually move forward. Um, so here, you know, I'm, I'm just trying to apply pressure. I'm not going to make my shots or hit my shots. But the whole goal, again, is for me to just continue to shoot in that area. That way they don't push forward and my teammates can heal up. Again, you got to keep applying that pressure. This team is pretty aggressive and you guys will see why. But we do some pretty cool stuff and I'll show you guys what I'm doing. So again, I have Beast of the Hunt. Beast of the Hunt is the ability to kind of get jacked up. It's kind of like you're pretty uh, very like focused and your movement is quick. Um, the enemies are highlighted in red. So it really helps you get more knocks and know that if you knock a character down, you do get five seconds on top of your time limit. So if you guys continue to knock, 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 you continue to get more and more people. So now they got the uh, EMP. Now they're going to start pushing. Now they know it's time. So for me, I'm stepping back. You want to shield up. You don't want to keep going without any shield, especially when it's a full squad. But now I got my R99, which I've been getting better with my aim. And you're going to see what I do. I got one knock. Take cover. Move around, continue to reload. Teammates are helping. Get your shots clean. Bam, got that one. Here we go. Keep moving. We just need one more. Run around, run around. It's like we're playing tag. Keep going. Hit my shots. Pop out. And you see what I'm doing. I'm 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 going. I'm popping out and popping back in. Popping out, popping back in. Reload. Shoot. Reload. Shoot. Don't stand in the middle to get shot. You gotta keep moving. Bam. I just killed a the full squad by myself uh, I don't know about you guys but that's pretty dope I think that's pretty OP and I told you guys can I do 1v3 you guys just saw it 
1v3 taken down. Kill leader, five kills, baby. So let's see how many more kills I can get. Hopefully you guys understood what I did there. Um, in terms of my movement, in terms of using the area, I think I give credit to Valorant because Valorant is a game where you like pop in and pop out as well. It's like very taking cover. And I think my like game sense has gotten better because of that game. Um, but just know like, don't stick out like a sore thumb because obviously you will get knocked. So continue to like cover yourself, use a rock, use a building and reload, pop out, pop in, um, and you'll win those situations, but also know your movement, jump, do a crouch, throw off the, you know, aim of sight, because if you're just standing in the middle, again, it's predictable in terms of how I'm going to take you out. So again, you guys see a pretty cool move and, uh, the whole goal is for, for me to give you guys tips and knowledge, uh, if you guys didn't know that already. So Bloodhound, I love him. Um, I think he's gotten better over the time. And in this gameplay, you guys will see what I can actually do. I think this is my best game with Bloodhound ever in Apex Legends. So I'm going to keep that, uh, moving this forward and um, get to the point. So again, we're moving forward, waiting for my teammates to get through. Don't be too aggressive. There is a team in that area uh, where there's a structure, but I'm going to keep fast forwarding this. Let's keep this moving. Right now, we're getting chased by the team. Um, I'm trying to get cover because, as you guys know, the ring closes. And I'd rather be inside the ring than outside because once you're inside the ring and you're taking damage, wow, you're getting shot at. That's a uh, recipe for disaster. So I'm going to continue to do what I need to and apply the pressure to uh, see if I can take out this team. My teammate obviously went down. And uh, now it's a duo team. Now it's kind of like a handicap situation again. A full squad versus you know 2v3 now the drone is out so we're good we're back in action but now we got to apply that pressure so again this is very difficult again another good team um that i will say they're pretty good um you can just you can just see by their gameplay and how they position themselves and also like i mentioned on my other video i'm, I'm playing with masters um i'm playing with predators and uh i think diamond players because i always get queued up with those type of players in my um, public matches. So again, continue to use the cover of the rock. Remember, use the rock as your cover. Look at the ring, look at the time. Teammate did the uh, teleport. Cool, do we run away or do we continue to fight? So, you know, for me, it's like, I wanna keep fighting. You know, I, I wanna step back, but at the same time, there's gonna be more squads in that middle circle. So the goal here is how do I how do I approach the situation? So my teammate is obviously fighting back there and I, I'm, I'm trying to hold back, but I'm full and I'm ready to go. So we got two, I think three. Here we go. Our 99 shots aren't perfect from a distance, but up close, they're pretty good. So let's see what we can do here and how we can maneuver the situation and take this team out. So again, apply pressure, use the rocks. Teammate is taking action down there trying to take out the players. I'm trying to deal damage. Almost got lifeline. Got a chase, got a chase. Here we go with the scan, throw them off. Got a kill, knocked. Here goes another one, pathy. Here we go, maneuver, jump, throw them off, jump again. There we go, another kill. Uh, well, not pretty much. Here we go, I can get my teammate. This is a mistake that I make, so you know, you gotta think fast, but at the same time, I don't want these guys to get revived. Uh, which I move a little slow. Um, but again, this gameplay that I'm going to show you guys is pretty intense. So, you know, I could have saved Lifeline. And I get it, guys. I could have saved her. But at the same time, I'm trying to uh, see if anyone comes by. And I make it too late. So, again, it's a mistake. It's all good. You learn from it. You keep moving on. Get the get them for the beacon. But that's going to be impossible. So, again, I'm going to go back up. And see if I can find the pathy that I took out. And he should have already been knocked pretty soon or he's about to get back up so let's see what happens we don't see them and I guess let's go so the ring is closing and now let's get some action and let's see what we can do here so I'm getting my weapons I'm moving with the ring I'm trying to get to the point now you're gonna see more action up top as you guys know once it gets closer and closer it gets more intense there's an enemy up here and there's actually an enemy squad in here. This is going to be pretty cool stuff. So I'm going. They know I'm coming. And I need to uh, 
Hold this wall. Always use cover. Even if you don't have the high ground. I get the scan. Pre-fire. Pre get the kill. Pre-fire, you got the kill. So, one of the things you guys want to do with Bloodhound is that if you know the anticipation of the movement of the player, start shooting. So that when they actually appear, you're taking the first shot already, quickly. So you guys are going to see that right now. So I do the scan. They jump down. You see the movement. You see the player. They're going to move. So I'm going to start shooting now so I can just land my shot. So pre-fire. There we go. So you, you start doing those shots and then um, you'll win the situation. So here we go. Boss moves. I got my, you know, I got my person here supporting me here. You got this. I believe in you. You know, I got two viewers right now. It's like I'm on Twitch. Uh, I'm doing some big things right now. So, you know, let's keep going. Let's get the kill. We got now eight kills plus the other kill from the pathy, which is, it was six. It was seven. This kill was eight. Uh-oh. How many more kills can I get? There's four squads left. I'm boss mode right now. See? I believe in you. That's all I needed. I needed someone to believe in me so I can do this. So here we go. We're going in there. Playing the game. I hear some action. You hear the movements. So when you hear someone revive, you you know you got to go in. You got to go in there very strong. And there goes two people. What happens? Do you guys I do you guys think I, I win or lose? You know, put it in the comment section right now. I'm waiting. I'm still waiting. Okay. Uh, let's see what happens. Bam, baby. I took him down. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Ooh. 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 Look at that. Four viewers now, baby. I got four viewers and I got 10 kills. How many more kills do you think I can get? Right now I'm being a boss. I am the ultimate um, kill leader. No one's going to top me anymore. So I'm on fire. I'm feeling good. You know, I've been using the R99. Havoc, not so much. So I start rocking that Peacekeeper and I missed the Peacekeeper. And you're going to see what I do with this right now. So it gets intense. Again, I'm getting a third party because I start hearing some action in this area. And you guys know if it's only you... Um, you need to third party. Uh, don't wait because they're going to reset their health and shield. And now it's a full squad versus you. And that's going to be a recipe for disaster. When you guys seen that I took out a full squad on my own, let's see if I can do it again. So again, I'm, I'm getting the peacekeeper because peacekeeper is a really good gun from a distance, especially when it's charged. And look what I'm about to do. Take shots, take my shots, get some help, knock. All right, let's go. Um, keep going, keep going. Let's see what we can do here. Take more shots, take more shots, take more shots. Knocked. Okay, I should get that assist. Here we go. I'm ready to go. I'm still full in energy. Um, I, uh, I'm trying to take him out. All right, let's go. Ooh. Ooh. Darn it. Darn it. Darn it. Maybe if I went around and I uh, actually... Uh, ooh. Ooh. Do I get back up? Do I get back up? Oh, they're going to want to fight. Okay. Oh. Oh, no. Oh. No worries. Well, you guys just saw, like... You know, if I went the other way around, maybe... You know, if I had the distance with the PK and then the R99, I could have. But, you know, it's all good. You win some, you lose some. And like I tell you guys, my videos aren't always to be about me winning and being a champion because anyone could be a champion. I think for me, my purpose of my videos is to teach you guys how to play the character. Because I can show you guys wins after wins after wins, but what does that do for you guys? Nothing. It's my purpose is solely to teach you guys how to play the character how to have confidence, how to go out there, believe in yourself, and uh, just master the legend. So again, this is episode two. I'll continue to make more videos on Bloodhound, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please hit the comment uh, button below. Let me know what your thoughts were about this video and like the video so more people can see it too. And I'll catch you guys until the next one. Later.